There we go. There we go. All right. Anchors are going up on all three ships. We're going to see a little bit of a different start. Um, as you guys probably heard, we're not uh, going to be uh, allowing them to fire Cursed Cannonballs until they are out of the bay, uh, which is a little bit different. We've definitely got some ramming going on here. Um, we've got our epic music going, and we've seen our first Cursed Cannonball fired. Uh, and, oh, that is a rigging ball. They are taking a sharp turn to the right. Uh, and we've only... It did it really... We had splash damage on that cursed cannonball. I believe that was a helm ball, right? The, the rigging ball. That was a rigging ball that hit both ships at the same time. That's fantastic. Oh, okay. And then that was another helm ball uh, that the silver blades just cut off. Um, and let's go. We've got a couple of interesting angles here. <laughs> um, this is Owl with Glub Glub. Uh, oh, no, that's not Owl with Glub Glub. Let's go over to Kaitsu. Um, there's, there's everyone coming out. There's back to Zeta. Oh, Zeta's stuck too. Let's go back to my view. Oh yes, that was a rigging ball that just hit the silver blades. And I do hear gunfire with these. They are trying to get this snipe in. The silver blades have a little bit of a lead, but I haven't heard an explosion. There's one. There's one. There's two. The only one left is the one in the middle of the island. And the banana boys are not going to have an angle on it at all. They are getting blocked by the silver blades. This is going to get ugly for the banana boys. They've got their sails up. They're going to have to circle back. Meanwhile, Glub Glub and the silver blades are in a dead heat. This is extremely close heading into Sanctuary. And let's see here. We should have... Hmm. That's, not, that's too bad. Try Zeta's view. And that <laughs> one's not working either. Awesome. Awesome. I had to talk up, talk up the production before this one. You had to know something was going to go wrong. We'll see if we can get those back up as we're moving along here. And we've got both crews heading into Sanctuary at essentially a dead heat. This is definitely going to be close. I don't know. I don't know. That's weird. There we go. Owl's looking good over there on the uh, on Glub Club. And uh, boy, this is going to be close. This is going to be real close. Uh, we've got one miss here um, from Shumba. He's got to hit this before they lose angle. There he goes. He's got a chest. He's got a chest on board. Oh, but you can see they've hit the island. Um, they're going to need to get unstuck. Let's see how Glub Glub is doing over with Owl. <laughs> it's brutal. Brutally difficult. And there we go. You can you notice they're going opposite directions around this course. Uh, which is interesting because they're going to end up facing different directions when they come back out. We've got a strong harpoon here. Um... Yeah, yeah, we should probably shouldn't do that. Let's not do that. <laughs> and that's two chests on board for the silver blades. And let's go check in with Glub Glub. Looks like they're about to get their next chest on board as well. So both of these crews are in a boy. This is really, really close. Um, and then the banana boys are just showing up here at the outpost. Oh, and Zeta's view. There we go. We got Zeta's view up. That is Zeta over there with the crew of Legends. And we've only got one more chest for each of these. The Silver Blades and Glub Glub. And then they are going to be moving on. Going over to Kaitsu. 
Oh, that's a great view. And there we go. The Silver Blades have all three of their chests on board, I believe. Yes, they have all three on board. And they are going to be heading for the fortress. Meanwhile, let's check over with Owl. And yes, they... Oh, they are struggling a little bit. Did they have a couple misses there? They've got their sails up, don't they? Wow. Okay, they've got it. They've got it. This is going to be a close one. <laughs> And this is what the view looks like right now. This is the map. And here are the Silver Blades uh, taking off with a dynamite lead. And you can see Glub Glub and the Banana Boys are still tied up at Sanctuary. So now this is the Silver Blades. They've got control of this race. The question is, can they keep from making a mistake big enough to allow the other two ships to catch up? I honestly have no idea. I have no idea. Um, this, this course is so new. Um, you know, these crews are trying out strategies. They haven't even necessarily finalized strategies that they'll be using during the regular season. Um, by the way, somebody asked me about registration earlier. Um, we do have a handful of spots open in the Race of Legends uh, for the March Madness Tournament. Uh, keep in mind that the uh, registration form, um, you'll notice the giant button that says uh, application and make sure to read the actual form. Filling out the form doesn't guarantee that you'll get in, um, but feel free to fill out the application and we will do our best uh, to get you guys in. All right, and we've got, is it Kaitsu with the four? He's going to be in a second. Okay, let's go over and see what's going on back uh, with Glub Glub and Owl. And it looks like they've got a Meg in front of them. Um, oh, it's too far. Oh, that would have been huge. That would have been a game changer. Um, <laughs> uh, it looks like Glub Glub is attempting to catch up. Now, they don't, they aren't that far behind. So when these crews leave their ships, they're going to leave their ships angled in the direction that they want to go So while they go on shore and die. And, of course, the question is, um, you know, who's going to take that better angle headed to Sailor's Bounty? Um, yes, okay, we've got people shooting off. Uh, both people have shot off from the Silver Blades. Oh, the fort's active, guys. The fort's active. No one noticed. <laughs> the fort is active. We're going to have incoming fire. Uh, now, the camera people on their ships will keep their ships from sinking in this uh, in this scenario um, because it's not really fair for them to be separated from their ships. Um, and you can see here the difference. The Banana Boys are, I'm sorry, the crew of Legends are still behind, but they are absolutely not out of it. Um, now let's go see what the line is looking like for Owl and her crew. Uh, yeah. Silverblade is on the ferry. Let's go to Kaitsu on the ferry and see what's going on there. Um, boy, four cameras, uh, really, uh, <laughs> oh, wow. Look at that. I'm going to show you guys. Uh, we'll go back to the ferry in a second. I'm going to show you the map. This is what it looks like. We've got the crew of legends right back here. They're still trying to catch up. This is Glub Glub in second, and we still have Silver Blades leading, but look at the line that both of them have taken. This is their where they want to be, Sailor's Bounty. They wanted to go north, northwest. They're both going straight west. The banana, uh, the crew of legends has a legitimate shot to catch up right now. These lines are taking them into the Red Sea. This is huge. Let's go back to the ferry and see who's there. Um, I, I think we missed. Uh, yep, yeah, the Silver Blades are back on their ship right now they're back on their ship and they've corrected their course and boy it is not far they've got billow uh the line that they took wasn't perfect um but they do have a nice looking lead so we're gonna see what happens here at sailor's bounty um as these two ships come in um and let's see mike i think i have his source working yes uh we've got mike he's on oh, that's not mike hmm interesting that's not mike at all that's uh I think that's Owl. Huh. Let's see here. Yep, we've got Owl in here twice. Which is less than ideal, but not a unsolvable problem. Hang tight, everybody. Oh, no. Oh, no. And we've got a collision coming up here. And they're, yeah, they're going to hit that rock. I don't think they had time to adjust between when they got back and when they uh, when they set that course. They set course for a rock accidentally. That is less than ideal. 
And there we go. The Silver Blades are off with their collector's chest. And they are headed in. Um, we're going to have Mike's view up here in just a second. And uh, here we are. This is the view from the Silver Blade ship. Um, we are going to have Mike's view pulled up momentarily. And there's no skulls. Awesome. Um, just tell them to carry the collector's chest back up. They've got to bring it down and back up. We seem to have collector skulls that have despawned, which is awfully exciting. Um, <laughs> there's Kaitsu navigating the traps to find that there aren't any skulls there. Uh, which is disappointing for sure. Uh, we, we did a little more advanced prep than we normally would have because we were running two different courses tonight. Um, but yeah, just bring the chest back. <laughs> oh man, that is, that is fantastic. Um, <laughs> uh, yeah, there we go. We're going to get this fixed. We're going to go back to this. So we're going to stick with Kaitsu's view here for a second. Um, we're going to get Mike's view back. Um, yeah, bring the chest from their ship down and take it back. Uh, yep, good call. <laughs> Little improvisation here. And uh, there we are at Mike's view. Oh, some nice PvP action from Carides. Getting that kill. You can see the Silver Blades. Shumba's here on board the ship. The Silver Blades left Carides behind to slaughter her enemies. Somebody's trying to take some blunderbuss shots from an optimistic angle. Oh, that was a uh, that was a shot from a skeleton. Um, and now you can see the Silver Blades are pulling away. They are headed for Smuggler's Bay, and this is looking really, really good for the Silver Blades right now. Um, let's see what's up with Kaitsu at the bottom of the corridor. No one is there at the moment. And both of the Silver Blades are now back on their ship. Uh, as you can see, Smuggler's Bay is right there. They are looking very, very strong. They've done a great job of uh, protecting that lead. Uh, let's go over to Mike here. We've got a little more action on the island um this yeah and you know we haven't checked on the banana boys in a minute uh it's the crew of legends it's not the banana boys <laughs> my bad um it's the crew of legends let's see how they're doing over here with zeta um it looks like oh that's a little wonky looks like they're at the island club club died oh no let's go over to kaitsu and we've got a little instant replay action for you i think something went wrong here for Glub Glub. Oh, we've got a storm moving in on Smuggler's Bay. Crews are going to have a storm to deal with. Oh, this is looking intense. This is going to be a dramatic finish here at Smuggler's Bay uh, with uh, Silver Blades looking really, really strong. Um, <laughs> I'm still seeing nothing on that corridor. Uh, let's go back to my view here at Smuggler's Bay as the Silver Blades are getting ready to shoot someone off. Yeah, they've got a pretty good angle. You can see they want to get that shot up on the top. Um, and then Mike or Kites, have either of you guys had time to load over? Probably not, right? I'm going to follow them up. Let's see how, how good of a job Carides did setting the cannon here. Here we go. Am I going to make it up on top of this ledge? Yeah. Okay, that was close. That was close. I'm going to run up to the beacon, uh, which I don't think has been lit yet. Through the storm, and there are, I'm assuming, some skeletons behind me. One problem at a time. Oh, I hate snakes. Stay away, snake. Um, trying to make my way up to the beacon. I think Shumba's shot must not have been quite as good as Carity's. Because she is the one, I believe, that's going to end up lighting the beacon here. You can see her just ahead of me. Um, and we're coming up on it. We're coming up. Uh, let's see. 
There it is. The beacon is lit. And with that blue flame, the Silver Blades have won our very first race on the Season 4 course. Well done to the Silver Blades. What a fantastic win. Let's get a quick screenshot there. Yeah, that's awesome. That is awesome. Oh, that's a great shot. Um, what a fantastic... What a fantastic run. They just, they didn't make any mistakes. You know, that's the difference is they just didn't make any mistakes. Um, and I will say that those of you who bet your dread dollars on the silver blades uh, probably bet them extremely well. If I remember how the uh, betting was breaking out here, let me check it out. Um, the silver blades ended up with, oh, here, I'll just take us to our betting scene and we can check it out there. Wow. Yeah, the Silver Blades only had 36%. Wow, almost 100,000 Dread Dollars bet. Um, so somebody's about to, about to make some dread, dread Dollars here as I hit the button to pick the winner. And Silver Blades with the win. Very well done. Um, let's see. Yeah, there we go. Wrong button. Silver Blades have won, wow, 25 people betting their Dread Dollars on that. Uh, if you're not familiar with Dread Dollars, it's our little currency that we've got here that you can use to bet on the races. If you look down below the stream or in the About section if you're on mobile, uh, you can check out how's you can how you can earn Dread Dollars. Wow, they're perfectly synced up. Check this out. Um, <laughs> they've got a carefully choreographed dance here uh, from the... Uh, from the silver blades that's very impressive ah oh, they, they moved okay all right guys um so the next thing that's gonna happen i'm gonna go ahead and get the competition up and running for the very next race joe neat mike chapman um shelly and andrew preston are gonna be back for our very final race of the night and after that we are gonna be announcing the battle of legends i'm so excited to tell you guys about that so excited um we have so many exciting things coming up for you guys season four um we're already starting to plan some stuff out for season five we've got uh three you know uh three sloops coming out of smugglers bay uh this season four route is what you'll be seeing most nights uh for the foreseeable future without throughout season three and do not forget guys that when march comes around we are going to be doing another march madness tournament a massive single elimination bracket competition you as fans are also going to be able to create your own brackets uh if you're in the u.s then you're probably familiar with march madness it's the same type thing if you're not from the u.s uh we're going to do a big single elimination tournament you're going to be able to create your own bracket and compete in a bracket competition that will have its own prize uh, i don't know what those prizes are yet one thing at a time um so hang tight everyone um we are going to get the longest john's music playing first of all uh because boy it's nice to have something that's a little bit more chill in between races. 